Billed for merchandise you never received? Send this letter to the bank. Not sure how to request the bank to make a debit refund for non-delivered merchandise? Choose this template to create your dispute letter, then send it to the recipient. Please, follow the link in the description to open the document form. Now, you can start to fill out the form. Begin with your first and last name at the top. An example John Doe. Next, enter your current address, the same address as mentioned in your ID or driver license. Address Line 1, 123 Example Street, Unit 1. Address Line 2, New York, New York 12345. Choose your document date. Then, input the bank name, let's say, Bank Example LLC. Now, enter the bank address Line 1, PO Box 123. Address Line 2. New York, New York 12345. Next, type the reference, account number and or transaction identifier. Account number 123456. Transaction date, June 1, 2020. Amount $100. Please enter the disputed amount $100 and, the date of transaction, June 1, 2020. Then, scroll down to the document end, and enter your first and last name under the text, Best Regards, John Doe. In the notary section, please retype your first and last name again, John Doe. Good job, your document is ready. Check your personal information one more time, and click to the buy button. Proceed with the payment to download and print out the document from your computer. And yes, do not forget to attach copies of sales slips or any other documents that support your position. Before the final step, you need to notarize your document. Be sure to keep the original copy of the letter for your records. For your convenience, please use the online notary service by following the link idispute.org slash online notary. Finally, send the letter by USPS Certified Mail. Certified Mail is best because it guarantees that the company receives it. That way, they can't say they didn't get your letter. But, if you are busy and don't have time to drive to the post office, you can mail a letter online. No more trips to the post office, no worries of social distancing, save time and do it online with lettercarrier.org. Important. You can keep a document copy on your computer, but it's better to keep a hard copy of the one you sign and send. Always keep a copy of the document, certified mail receipt, payment receipt, so you have a record. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like and share it with your friends. Looking for a particular document form, kindly leave a comment below, and we will consider your request. Thanks for watching.